Hi guys, it's Ms. Hadley again. Uh, this video will be your week 14 social studies video. Um, so in this video, I'll talk about the two assignments that you guys have due for social studies. And then I can also tell you what to expect in each of the lessons. So um, as I mentioned before, you just have two assignments this week. So you have your a quiz, your 04.05 is a quiz, 04.06 is a written assignment. We're not going to do this one because it's a quiz. It's pretty straightforward. You go in, um, read the slides. I think it's about six or seven slides talking about the Declaration of Independence, what it was, why was it important, who was involved, who signed it, all of that information. And then you take a short quiz at the end. So we're going to skip over that one and go to 04.06 because that one is a written assignment. And I would like to talk to you guys a little bit about the written assignment and what I'm looking for and how you can um, meet with me this week if you guys would like to talk about that writing assignment. So we're going to start there. So American Revolution is what we've been talking about. And we are going to lesson six. So as I mentioned, this is a writing assignment. Um, and when I say writing assignment, I just mean it's a graphic organizer. You guys aren't expected to like write any paragraphs or anything this week, but you, you will be turning in a worksheet. All right. So we've been talking about the American Revolution and all the different events that led to it, um, all the different people who played a role in it. Um, and so this one just kind of wraps it up a little bit. Um, so in the last couple of slides or a couple of lessons, you guys should have talked about like the Continental Congress and what that was. Um, so we know that they decided to declare independence from Britain. They wanted to break free. Um, they wanted to have their own government and rules. But of course, that was not an easy thing to do. Britain was not so um, happy to let go of America so easily. So this slide kind of talks about the Battle of Saratoga. So if you guys want to read through here, learn about that battle and what it was, you can do that. It also talks about what it means to be an ally. So it says the French became an, became an ally of the United States in the fight against uh, Britain. And an ally is a country who will assist another in times of war. So that will be important to know when we get to the writing part of this assignment. So make sure that you guys know what an ally is. Okay. On this slide, we're introduced to Marquise de Lafayette. Um, and it just kind of tells you a little bit about who he was, what he did. Why was he important? Um, and then you can just kind of click through here and it tells you a little bit of more about his life. So make sure that you guys uh, read a little bit about him and can um, tell me kind of what he did. So it's not too much reading, just a couple of slides. So it kind of talks about how he helped get French support for the Americans. So he was an ally. This slide talks about some different um, um, events. So if you guys want to click through these and read about each of them. Um, this has like a little audio clip for you guys to listen to. This talks about some um, different types of allies, some foreign allies. So if you click on the definition of foreign, it just means from another country. So it down here provides us of two different types of examples of foreign ally, allies, two different guys. It talks about the alliances that they formed that helped Amer the Americans win the war. So make sure that you guys are paying attention to some of these names that I'm pointing out because when you get to the graphic organizer part, you'll need to 
um, write about some of these uh, men that we learned about. Then it also talks about some important women. So we'll also have to learn about some important women um, and what they did in the in the fight for independence. Um, and then you guys will also be asked to write about one or two of those women. So click right here just so we can kind of see. So it's just some of the different women um, that were um, important during the American Revolution. So we're not going to read all of them and you guys don't have to read all of them. You can kind of read through maybe one or two and then figure out which ones, um, which story you found the most interesting. And then that can be who you write about. So I have about five or six that you can choose from. Talks about the disappointment in Charleston. Talks about the that they thought they would be successful. Um, they thought they had more support, but they didn't. The, the clashes between the loyalists and the patriots. So remember the difference between the loyalists and the patriots. Uh, the Loyalists wanted to um, remain with Great Britain, and then the Patriots wanted their freedom. And then this is just our lesson summary. And then this is where we can find our um, writing assignment. So right here, War Continues. So this assignment will ask you guys to create a storybook. However, I'm not asking that you create a storybook. I'm just asking that you do the graphic organizer part. Um, so you have, what is this, four or five sections. So tell me one woman who contributed to the American Revolution. So we just learned about a couple um, women. You guys can choose one, a woman from this lesson or a woman from a previous lesson. Um, tell me about a foreign ally. So I just... I uh, showed you guys two foreign allies. Tell me about one event from the American Revolution. So you can talk about the Battle of Saratoga, uh, Bunker Hill, um, Lexington and Concord, whichever event you would like to talk about. Um, and then it, it asks you to tell me two separate events. Um, so tell me what the event was. Tell me what happened. Tell me why was it important. So that's all you have to do for this assignment. Um, if you guys would like to meet with me, maybe like Thursday afternoon, if you're all done with this assignment by Thursday afternoon and you wanna just have like a little social studies um, chat, uh, I can set up a meet and we can talk about some of you guys' um, graphic organizers. Um, so you can just like read to me or read to the class, tell us about the person that you um, chose to write about, um, tell me why. So if you had a, you know, a woman here, there whose story you found was really interesting and you wanted to kind of share her story with the whole class, you could. Um, so we could do that on Thursday afternoon. We could just kind of meet, talk about the graphic organizer, share ideas, things like that. And then you guys can um, turn it in once you're all done and go ahead and get credit for it. So um, that's about it for this video. Just remember, you have a quiz for social studies this week and then this assignment for social studies this week. Um, and if you all would like to, we can um, set up a little social studies group um, for this Thursday afternoon in which you guys can kind of share your graphic organizers with me and your classmates. So I hope this video was helpful. Um, if at any time you have any questions about this or your assignments for language arts for this week, uh, feel free to send me an email or send me a message on Google Hangouts. Um, I will talk to you guys in the next video. Bye.